Welcome back. The Jacksonville Icemen did not leave fans wanting much this past weekend. They're doing it all again this week with three back-to-back -back home games. But no matter how the games actually go, the true winners are always going to be the fans. They get a memorable experience every time. And here to tell us more about it is the Director of Communication and Broadcasting, Alex Reed. Glad to have you back, my man. Glad to be back, as always. Yeah. All right. So we had a pretty interesting weekend um, these past few games. Tell us about that. You know what? Uh, team played well. Uh, it was, uh, they went 2-2 two and two out of the four games last week. Uh, I know the team's trying to make that playoff push right now, so the points are are are, uh, are certainly important and uh, then just fell short of getting three of the four wins. Uh, 22 seconds is yeah. uh, all it did. It was the lat we lost that game last 22. So it was close. The guys are playing well. It was a tough loss on Sunday, but uh, you know what? They know they're, they're playing well and, and it sets up for a good week ahead. Now, and we took on the Solar Bears. That was a solid win against the Solar Bears, which was a big thing for, for the team. It was. And you always want to beat your in-state rival. Yeah. And they've actually had our number early in the year, but uh, we've gotten them the last couple of times. And uh, not only to just beat them, but to shut them out, uh, you know, that was always fun. So yeah. uh, uh, that, that had the fans really buzzing on Saturday night. Okay. And uh, the the other thing that was pretty big on Saturday night was uh, it was Batman night. Yes. And I was really, really impressed with the turnout of the Batman fans. Now, I know it's just... I'm a, I'm a Marvel <laughs> fan, but like just to see the people that, that came in and that were dressed to the T, the jerseys were selling. Yeah, they were. They were. I mean, they, they actually went for a lot of money. Uh, and of course, uh, there's always a, a good charity tied back to each of the jersey auctions. But the Batman jerseys were very sharp. And uh, you know, and that's the thing. Uh, if you're if, even if you're just a casual hockey fan or maybe not even a hockey fan yet, yeah. come to a game. I and mean, we're, we're trying to cater to all those different uh, audiences. And obviously, you know, the, the Marvel Universe, the DC Universe, all those comics. Uh, there's so many, uh, so much interest in that. And people enjoy coming out and dressing up, being part of the themes. And that's really what our games are all about. Definitely. I remember we did a little in-game. Uh, best bet kind of shuffle and the guy that I did the uh, the game with was actually dressed as the Joker. As the Joker. <laughs> yeah. He looks sharp by the way. I mean again that's it. I mean that's what it's it. It's, it's family fun entertainment um, or just a group of friends want to come out and have a good time. I mean uh, and I think a lot of the times um, you know, fans that might be the casual fan or they haven't really checked out a game. They come to a game and, you know, they can enjoy all the other elements, uh, you know, the, the, the video board and the events, the mascots. But they ended up at the end of the day becoming hockey fans. Yeah. And they say, wow, this is actually a lot of fun. And that's that's what we strive for. And there's a lot of fun to be had this week. I know Wednesday's a, a good night to have fun, too, especially for, for the adults out there. Yeah, they're starting to catch on Wednesday night. Uh, every Wednesday game we have, it's $2 select beer and wine. So, uh, I mean, that's a great promotion to help get you <laughs> yeah. through the work week and uh, heading into the weekend. And, and we're starting to generate some steam. There, the word's getting out on that, so that that's a great promotion for Wednesday. And what's going on this weekend? This weekend, uh, we got games on Friday and Sunday as well. Uh, every Friday game is uh, our Wendy, our Wendy's Fridays, where you can get uh, four tickets, four Iceman mini sticks, and four Dave singles combos. Uh, all that information is available on jacksiceman.com. And then, of course, uh, our Sunday games are uh, presented by Publix. We wear the, uh, the, the very popular uh, pub sub jerseys for those games. Yeah. And then uh, fans can go down on the ice after the game as well. So uh, uh, that's what we have coming up this weekend. And uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of games coming up. But there's plenty of chances to catch the Iceman uh, down, down at uh, Veterans Memorial Arena. Definitely. Now, coming off of the momentum that we had over the weekend, how do you think the team will fare this week? You know, it's, uh, it's tough matchups uh, when, when, when you're taking on teams in, in your division. But I actually got a lot of teams out of the division. But uh, on, on Sunday, we have the defending champions coming to town, the new Finland Growlers. Uh, they'll be here on Sunday. But then uh, two big games uh, this week against Norfolk. Uh, they're in our division on Wednesday and Friday. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, we have a game on the road in between uh, down in Florida. They're one of the best teams in the league. But uh, I think the momentum's going well. The team's been uh, putting up some games. I, I think they're, uh, they've won seven out of their last 11. So they're generating the momentum at the right time of year. Definitely. Now, I know that uh, the, the very last game, we had just come off of that shutout against the Solar Bears. Everybody was pumped. There was a lot of energy going on to the ice uh, that following day. What do you think that they're going to carry over from that last game into this week? I think, uh, you know, when you're going up against one of the best teams, such as the Everblades are, uh, and then just falling and losing in the final 22 seconds, yeah. that was such a heartbreaker. But I think the guys know they can compete with them, and they can compete with anybody. And I think they've proven that this year uh, in those matchups. And so I, I think, honestly, the team's confident right now. I was just over at practice a little bit, and, uh, you know, the, the, there's a good energy in the room. The yeah. guys are, are got a good buzz right now. So I, I think uh, sky's the limit right now. It's uh, just got to keep, uh, you know, playing with some consistency. Definitely. I honestly think, Alex, that we had them at $2 beers. That's, yeah, yeah, I, I think so, sure. too. Absolutely. <laughs> you can catch a segment again on our website at firstcoastliving.net.